Well, good morning. It's uh, September 25th and it's day two here at Harvest uh, for our top 55, what we call it here. It's a small triangular 55 acre field right by R&D. And personality wise, this is uh, what we call lower bottom. It's not great ground. It's got a couple sand ridges that go through, as you can see in this aerial image. Um, during dry down, these ridges dry out quickly in the spring and they also die quickly in the summer. So water is really important for them. So as we look at a year at a glance, the first thing you see early on is you see the, the vegetation growing faster on those areas that dry out quicker. They warm up, they dry out quicker, and early growth is all about temperature, and so they warm up faster and there's a, they have their own little microclimate. Then as the season unfolds, around V6, we started going through the field when the, when the, the plants were really thirsty, and you see a huge surge in vegetation growth on, this, on the watered strips versus the dry. And then in July, things get pretty uniform. That's what we always see with aerial imagery. But then the beauty of, of, of watering and keeping those plants healthy into the latter part of the season is keeping those solar collectors healthy all the way through the season. And so you see the, the unwatered dry zones start to die out quickly and those intensify. And then the, you're seeing the, the watered areas that have high fertility staying green well into um, senescence. So we're getting good kernel fill clear to the end. That's the big deal, right? Get those plants up early, get the solar collectors going fast, and then keep them living long into the season. We set up this field with two hybrids and with two populations, 36 and 48,000 population, and a Wiffles 8936 and a Pioneer 1197. And um, we wanted to answer two basic questions. One is, how do we compare wet versus dry on just standard normal, normal fertility programs? And secondly, if we shoot for the moon, go for 250 with a lot of the other uh, strip till or, or the other nutrients, if we really load those heavily, both 250 and 400 uh, units of nitrogen, what kind of yields can we get? And what we found is that uh, water wins. That's the, uh, the, 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 we all know that. And in those areas where we saw the, the, the sand strips, we're seeing huge swings in yield there. And in the areas where we're, we're putting high fertility, we're seeing uh, national corn grower level yields. So it's a really exciting day here at, at Harvest Day on the Top 55.